Damn fool! You got nothing better to do? Ah! Excuse me, bud! What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Why, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Ah. I caught some rip. I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in love. I knew I picked the right fella to speak to. Where's this shine? Easy, whoa. Who we got here? Stop that wagon! What is it? A uh, word of warning. I seen a big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. Yeah! Oh. man wonderful <laughs> you got my money <laughs> it's it's for a very good cause uh, my name is professor andrew bell the third perhaps you've heard of me <laughs> can't say that i have <laughs> oh i'm an inventor uh, maybe you've read about me <laughs> uh i don't read much oh oh well that's too bad oh yes <laughs> you got my money 
<clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity, and quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment, yes. Judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Look out. Welcome to our humble police house. What can God, I do Chief? for you? I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But, I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Good morning, mister. Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, ah. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Ugh. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle.
with you, you son of a bitch. Come on. Well, I got a special treat for you. You're coming with me. Born free. Born free. I was born free, goddamn you. Take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying. Killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in. Just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you... Uh. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor... Andrew Bell the third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You mean? <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and... Run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> but as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It would be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. We got a permit. That's the fellow that took our moonshine. You can die on the other side. Boy, you're a fool. Uh, you got on? I'm sorry about it. Uh, McDaniels, you all right? <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. Well, here we are. The professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. Ha, bring him over here. You're wonderful. Come on. Just... <sighs> Don't be shy now. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, lay him over here. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, one stay by my humane electric ending facilitator, there will be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, so let's get our, our, um... Our poor unfortunate, ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along.
You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Oh, please! Help me. Someone help me! Lord Almighty! Never seen anything like that. Go stop! No, no! 